right, if I tell you f if the sine of A is 5 sevenths, and I ask you find the cosine of A and find the tangent of A. This is all the information that you would need in order to answer a question like this. And the way that you would manipulate the work in order to show this is the following. You'd set up a right triangle okay, with the information provided. So since I gave you 5 over 7, that means that based on the sine ratio, again, so Katoa, what side could I label 5? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So 5 could be representing which length? Side opposite A, which is BC. And then what side would I put as 7? AC or AB? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so I can label the hypotenuse as 7. Okay. Once I get these labeled, in order to find cosine, I need to know the adjacent length. So what can I use to find this adjacent length AC? Okay. On this, I'll have to use trig, or I'm sorry, have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So if we say, let's call this B, B squared plus 5 squared has to equal 7 squared. Simplify your numbers and then isolate your variable. So if I subtract 25 from both sides and extract the square root, I get B is equal to, and this is 4 times 6. Square root of 4 comes out as a 2. So this length is 2 root 6. Therefore, when I set up my problem, I get a cosine ratio of adjacent 2 root 6 over hypotenuse 7. And I get my tangent ratio of 5 over 2 root 6. And now a couple things. We haven't really talked about this. And if you're unsure of how to rationalize denominators, denominators right now, enter this in your calculator. So if you put uh, 2 square root of 6, it will simplify for you uh, what you're looking at. Uh, Make sure if you enter these, this whole denominator has to be grouped in a bracket. Okay. And so the rational or the uh, rationalized form, 5 root 6 over 12 would be the tangent ratio.